I'm doing this video to demonstrate how I do metal spinning. I'm doing copper and I'm doing paint can lids to make resonators for cigar box guitars. There's probably a lot of ways to do this and I have not been trained. This is all experimentation and just a little bit of um, information that I could find on the internet. Maybe a, a few books and stuff I found on the internet. Um, if you've got a lathe and you know how to do turning, this is pretty straightforward. It's simple faceplate turning. This is a this is one of the blanks that I made. This is for the copper cones, and it's just a plywood. Cut the faceplate, plywood blanks screwed together, and then a piece of hard maple that I actually turned the form on. This is one of the copper resonators that I did. Um, I used 24 gauge copper, which is probably a little heavy. Uh, something like 26 or 28 gauge probably would work maybe a little better. This is a little more difficult material. Um, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> very adept at turning these yet, and it's kind of expensive to make mistakes. The lathe I'm using is an old Powermatic uh, Model 45 that I got from a school auction and I've kind of refurbished it. This is this is the wooden blank that I I do the uh, paint can lids on. I call a reverse beehive and it's just mounted on a face plate like the other one. I'm using the tool rest. This is they actually have tool rest specifically for metal spinning, and I don't have one. Haven't mailed, haven't built one yet. I'd like to do that someday, but right now I'm just using a piece of copper pipe. And it's got this rest on here that I've welded on there. Um, the tailstock. This is a wood disc that actually goes against the piece of metal as it's spinning. I've got a piece of leather glued on the top here and it just fits right on the, this is a live center for the tailstock it spins. So this goes on there, goes right up against the form. The other thing you're going to need, I use a piece of paraffin wax to just lubricate the paint can lid and I'll show you how it's all done here in just a second. When I make my wooden forms, I was going to show you how I do this. So I turn it all so the face is completely flat to start with. Then I cut a groove right here, and that is for the rim right there. So the rim goes in here, and then it will sit flat against the center section here so the metal is is touching this to start with the rim is in here this is the tool that I'm going to use when I do the spinning it's just a, made out of a piece of oak it's 14 inches long and this is kind of what it looks like longer is better uh, for the paint can lids it doesn't matter quite as much but when you start working with other materials like the copper that I've tried it takes a lot more pressure the regular metal spinning tools um, a lot of those for the commercial ones are like three foot long so use your body weight um, it takes a lot of pressure to form it I've got the paint can lid mounted against the form as you can see the form it's, it's on there very loosely right now, which is what you want. This is just lightly seated against there. I'm going to turn the lathe on. It's going to get loud, so I probably won't be talking anymore after, after I start the lathe. Um, I'm going to turn it on. I want it on there loosely, and the disc is going to kind of self-center. You can also help it a little bit if you need to to get it centered, but it doesn't have a lot of play. So it'll center itself. I'll go ahead and tighten up the hand wheel, lock it down. I'm going to lube it up with the paraffin wax, and then I'm going to start turning it into the deal. And if you watch this outer rim here as I'm doing it, you can see it kind of moving in, in and out um, from the pressure as I'm doing the spinning. Speed a little bit. Tighten it 
up, lock it down. Add the wax. So here's the finished product after a few minutes of spinning. They turn out pretty nice. I'm not sure how long this is going to hold up. This is hard maple, but the, the ridges on here, I'm afraid, are going to get worn down pretty quick. Actually, if he's going to go into production, probably a, a steel faceplate actually curved, you know, turn to this to this kind of profile would probably hold up a lot better I'd probably get a few of these I don't know how many but um, it's not going to be a whole lot I don't think thanks for watching